Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about DEM interview questions. In our previous video, we already discussed about DEM events, DEM event memory, DTC overview. I have mentioned all those videos in the description. You can watch it. DEM is one of the important concepts. If you want to work in diagnostics, then you should have a knowledge about DEM. First, we can start with what is DEM? DEM is Diagnostic Event Manager. The role of DEM is it has to store diagnostic events and their environmental data if it is needed. And the DEM will communicate with the DCM, NVM and two application software component via RTE by using suitable interfaces. So, this is the role of DEM. What is DEM event? Whenever the particular module or software component want to report a fault, then they have to configure as an event. So, fault is called as a DEM event. To identify a particular DEM event, we have to configure the unique name is called event ID. By using the event ID, we can identify the particular event. What is event kind? We have a base software, we have application software components. So, how we can identify whether the particular event or particular fault is getting reported from BSW or software component. So, if the BSW related events, then during our configuration, we have to choose BSW related events. BSW related events means the event is an assigned to a BSW module. Software component related events means the event is assigned to a software component. What is debouncing? Event debouncing refers to the process of eliminating multiple occurrences of a diagnostic event that are caused by a single physical event. So, whenever the event is getting reported, then automatically the debounce counter will get started based on your configuration. So, within the time, if none of the past report is happen or inactive of event is happen, then automatically the particular fault will be moved to the next state. That is the point of debouncing. And event debouncing is typically implemented by using timer or counter. When diagnostic event is detected, the timer or counter is started. If another diagnostic event of the same fault is detected within a certain period of time, that is called as a debounce time. It is ignored and the timer or counter is reset. Types of debouncing, meaning debouncing types. There are three types of debouncing mechanisms are there. This also will be chosen during your configuration. One is counter based debounce, time based debounce and monitor internal. The monitor internal completely will be implemented by software component, meaning the complete control will be handled by the software component itself. But counter based debounce and time based debounce will be implemented by DEM. What is event aging? Event aging is refers to mechanism of automatically discarding old diagnosed event that are no longer relevant. So, in the case of whenever you are reporting an event within the same driving cycle, you have, have another report of inactive of the particular event and there is no further event is reported in the upcoming operation cycle or aging cycle. But that aging cycle value or uh, those will be configured during your configuration time itself. So, within the operation cycle or aging cycle, if nothing is reported, then already reported event will be removed from the memory. That main reason of doing this one is to prevent the event memory from being cluttered with outdated information and ensures only current and relevant data is stored. Event combination. So, when you want to map several events to one DTC, that is called as an event combination. So, the combined DTC status byte results from a bitwise logical operation of all associated events and this mainly used to adapt different monitor results to one significant fault which is clearly evaluable in a service station. The event combination is like combination on storage and combination on retrieval. In some cases, we have a default as well. What is DEM event memory? So, whenever the DEM event is getting reported, where this will get stored? So, we have a several event memory entries. One is primary memory, another one is mirror memory, user defined memory and permanent memory. But most of the cases, in most of your requirements, primary memory will be recommended. But this also will be based on your configuration and requirement. What is event priority? Event priority is used to determine which among the event entries is removed from the event memory when it is completely occupied, meaning when the event memory is full. 
Each supported event shall have a priority assigned to it. Whenever you are configuring the priority value of one, she will be the highest priority. Larger priority value shall define lower importance. What is DTC? DTC is a diagnostic trouble code. Whenever you are configuring an event or whenever you want to report a fault, in that case, you have to report with the DTC. Every fault has a DTC number and this can be calibratable as well. And you can create an event without DTC number also. But this DTC will be used to represent specific fault or mall functions within the system and they are used to communicate diagnostic event information to other components. Most of the DTCs has 3 bytes of data. Byte 1, byte 2 and byte 3. Hope you have a clear idea about all those 10 DEM interview questions. If you have any doubts or if you need more clarification, please ask a question in the comment. If you like it, please share it with your friends. If you want to stay with us for more technical content, then please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.